I am so happy that you're able to join us for this extended interview. Make sure to visit theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's theoffbeatlife.com to get more killer resources. Hey friend, are you looking to land a remote gig ASAP? Well, did you know that we not only have a ton of online jobs you can apply to on our site, but now we are also sending them straight to your inbox. I'm happy to announce that we will be sending our email subscribers legit online jobs every Wednesday. We have done hours of research so you don't have to. If you want to be the first one to hear about the remote gigs we find, go to theoffbeatlife.com to subscribe. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here for this extended interview with Galen where she's going to share with us how to build your online business using Squarespace. Hey Galen, how are you? Good, how are you? I am wonderful. Before we get to your awesome tips and tricks, can you tell us about you and why you live an offbeat life? Sure, yes. I'm Galen Mooney. I'm the founder of Local Creative Co. And I help creative business owners build their business with Squarespace and SEO, which is search engine optimization. And I get to work with business owners from all over the world, helping them again, grow their business, market their business. And it is a huge passion of mine. It's, it's a, something I have loved from the very start. And I feel very lucky to get to do that. So let's dig into this because a lot of people usually use WordPress when they first start out. They have templates and, you know, that's what I use. I've had clients that come to me and was like, what do you think of Squarespace? And I was like, well, I'm not really, (laughs) I don't really have a lot of information on it. Can you tell us more about that platform and what it's about and why you love it so much? Yeah. So it's funny. Um, I get this question all the time from people who are like, should I go with WordPress? Should I go with Squarespace? And there's a lot of benefits to choosing WordPress as well. I actually started as a self-taught WordPress developer. So when I first started teaching myself to code, WordPress was my platform of choice. I was building like custom themes on WordPress and everything like that. And while part of me is very nerdy and very technical, part of me is also extremely visual. And I love designing things. I love of creating graphics and building and designing websites. And so when Squarespace came out, I think, I'm trying to think which version I started on, but it was several years ago now, I absolutely fell in love with the very simple drag and drop layout. And I loved being able to create something extremely custom, but within a framework that made it really easy to do so. So even though I could custom code something and I could do everything from scratch on WordPress, I loved the ability to customize things on Squarespace and I just sort of fell in love with it. And very slowly but surely, I ended up switching most of my clients or recommending that most of my clients make the switch to Squarespace because they had a much easier time making changes themselves and feeling confident that they can update their site, add their own graphics, make changes after I was done. And they didn't have to deal with a separate hosting company. They didn't have to deal with plugin updates or clashing plugins or things. So yeah, there's a lot of, there's pros and cons to each, but I have just fallen in love with Squarespace. I love that. I also like learning about this because I have no idea what's even on Squarespace. I've never, (laughs) I've never done it before. And every time I started a website, because I literally would just buy a theme and then I would design it myself. And it does, it takes such a long time. It takes me months because I'm also very much into design and which is a bad thing, by the way, because when I first started <laughs> like my businesses, I would be so into it and nothing else was getting done. So I'm sure Squarespace Same. would make you it'll make your life a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, it was definitely easier to, if I changed my mind and wanted to go in a completely different direction, it wasn't, it never felt like starting from scratch. I was just able to kind of move things around and put them where I wanted to. And in WordPress, I actually used to design in like Photoshop and then figure out where I wanted everything to go and then build it out in WordPress. But with Squarespace, for a lot of sites, I will just start, I'll open up a blank Squarespace site and just start moving things around and trying different things 
things and seeing what works. And even though I can use Photoshop and I love Photoshop and I've been using Photoshop for years, I think for me, the combination of using a design program like Canva, which is completely free, and Squarespace has just made my life so much easier. And I haven't really felt the limitations of either one of those platforms. I was just going to mention that. Yeah, it sounds like Canva because Canva makes designing so easy for all of us, especially I mentioned this before, like before using Photoshop, it would take hours and hours to do the design that you can literally go to Canva for and it takes you like five minutes to do, which is so helpful. And with the time that we don't really have and to save all of that just for the design and even money, you know, because there's a lot of templates out there that you can use. It's so helpful. Yes, I'm a huge fan of Canva. And so I'll kind of go back and forth between Squarespace and Canva and take elements from Canva, you know, design different elements in Canva and then figure out where I want to place them in Squarespace. But it's just made my workflow go so much faster. And I can create as I get visuals in my brain of what I want to make happen, I can just do it and it comes right out onto the website. And it's a lot easier than adding extra steps in between or trying to worry about plugins or themes and things like that. So aside from the ease of the design, what other things about the platform that you really enjoy? Yeah. So one of the biggest myths about Squarespace is that Squarespace is not SEO friendly. And I'm not going to say that... I I still think there probably are some, WordPress probably has a slight lead over Squarespace in the SEO department. But if you know how to make changes to your Squarespace site, if you know how to optimize your Squarespace site, it can rank really well and actually outrank. I've seen a lot of my clients outrank their competitors who are on WordPress because they have things set up correctly, because they have their site optimized on Squarespace. So as long as you know where things go and you have a good idea of how to set up a solid SEO framework on Squarespace, you're going to be in a really good position to help rank your website and to grow your business using search engines like Google. So one of the things that we use for WordPress are these plugins, right? That could make maybe your website faster or do other types of tricks that maybe you don't know how to code in. What about Squarespace? Does it have anything like that to maybe help us optimize our website or other things that we normally couldn't code for ourselves? Yeah. So it's interesting because plugins and themes on WordPress can be a blessing and a curse. Some themes on WordPress, because everything comes from different places, right? Each plugin has its own developer. Each theme has its own developer. You're really relying on those developers of those different plugins to not only have them all get along with one another, right? You need to make sure your plugins are compatible and there's no difficulties there, but you are also relying on them to make sure your site is fast. And I have seen certain WordPress themes that look beautiful, but they have like a five second plus load time on their site because they chose a theme that doesn't necessarily work that well when it comes to optimizing for page speed, which is a huge indicator to Google. So with WordPress, you really have to watch out for all these landmines as you're building your site. Whereas with Squarespace, everything for the most part is built in. So all of the themes are built on the same framework. They're all using the same functionality that's hard-coded into Squarespace. And all the SEO settings that you need are also built in. So you don't have to rely on any third-party plugins or code or anything like that. Your site's not going to break if you don't update it. So it's really nice to just have that sense of security that everything that you're using to build your website was built by the same set of developers and it all works together. It all gets along. And then when you're adding different elements of SEO, like you're adding page titles, you're formatting your, your pages in a certain way, that's all, again, built directly into Squarespace as well. That makes it so much easier. And also you mentioned it's like plug in play and you're pretty much done (laughs) and you just design it there or in Canva and it's a lot less of a headache, it seems like. So (laughs) yeah, especially if you're just getting started and we talked a little bit about like analysis paralysis, but basically you have so many decisions to make so many things to worry about when you're starting a business, your website should not be one of them. Like once you have a design and some of the Squarespace templates out of the box are really beautiful. I like to customize them because I love design. I love having a custom site, but you can also just use their templates right out of the box and you just know that they're going to work and you know that you can customize them to make them what you need them to be. 
Also, remember that it doesn't have to be perfect from the get go. You can come back as you go and start perfecting it little by little. The important thing is, is to put it out there and it has the information that people need in order to reach you or to understand more about you and the services that you have. Yes. Done is better than perfect. 100%. Just get it out into the world and you can fix it later. (laughs) Awesome. So is there anything else that you would like to share with us with Squarespace or maybe SEO using Squarespace that we really need to learn before we dive in and maybe get our own Squarespace site? Yeah. I would say the one thing to look out for is Squarespace is very visual. So their templates are really beautiful, but not all of their templates out of the box are SEO friendly and not because of the way they were built or anything like that. It's just that some of their templates are very focused on photography and beautiful visuals and not as much on actual wording on your site, like words on the page, right? And Google needs text on your website to understand what you do as a business, the services that you offer, the type of people you're looking to attract. So just make sure that whatever template you choose, there's enough information specifically on your homepage to help Google rank that page and to help Google understand what your business is all about. Because otherwise you're just using that wasted real estate as your homepage. You're not really taking advantage of that. So just look out for templates and try to choose a template or customize a template to make sure there's enough words on your homepage to to let Google know where you should rank in search results or what keywords that you want to rank for. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Galen, for giving us all of these amazing tips. If our listeners want to know more about you, maybe they want to ask you questions about SEO and Squarespace. Where can they find you? Yeah. So you can find me on Instagram at localcreative.co or our website is localcreative.co. We have a free SEO checklist that you can download there and you basically can print it out or use it on your computer and look that over for each and every page on your website to figure out what you need on that page to make sure that that page is ranking well in Google. Perfect. Thank you so much, Galen, for being here. We really appreciate all the knowledge that you just gave us. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you enjoyed this extended interview with Galen. Make sure to visit theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's theoffbeatlife.com to get the full interview where she shares how she's been able to work remotely as an SEO strategist. Hey friend, have you been wanting to start a podcast? I know it can be overwhelming in the beginning. Believe me, I have been there. Lucky for you, we have created a new site called howtocreatepodcast.com that shares a ton of freebies that can help you get started. From launching, growing to monetizing, we share it all in one place. Visit howtocreatepodcast.com for more information. Thanks for joining me on this extended interview. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review on iTunes. We can also chat some more on Facebook at The OB Live. I'll talk to you soon.